Kitchen Chemistry, the cooking show where the recipes are exotic, mixing just the right ingredients, creating the chemistry for people hungry for love. Hi, I'm Natasha Lowry, and welcome to Kitchen Chemistry. And I'm Justice Banks, where we match cooking for love with looking for love. What are we going to make? Well, today we're going to make a tricolor pasta with butternut squash. Now, I picked butternut squash because it's fall, it looks beautiful on the plate. I wanted to keep it a fall menu, so I thought of what's in season, because that's important to me. I want to make things that are seasonal. So butternut squash was the first thing I thought about. And I figured, you know what, let's, let's do a pasta dish with butternut squash. I'm going to do a dish that originally is a German dish. It was made with beef. Ah. But today I'm going to make it with chicken. It's called a chicken roulade. Tonight's menu, I adapted a menu that was from Germany where it was a beef product. And I and substituted chicken because it's a little healthier. And um, it was also something that I thought would be challenging for our guests because it had a little bit of skill involved and also had, you could like put your own twist on it, and I thought it'd be fun. We're gonna chop these in a rough chop, and I'm gonna put inside of the chicken, mushrooms, spinach, and brie. Ah, it's gonna be an excellent dish. That sounds excellent. So how is that gonna look once it's finished? I'm gonna roll it and bake it, and then we're gonna put it in the oven and let the gure melt. And when that cheese melts and the seasons get together, this is gonna be a fantastic tasting dish. And when you slice it, I bet that'll be beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Ah. Really lovely plate. All right, now, Justice, while you're doing your chicken dish, I'm gonna finish up my tricolor pasta. What I'm using today is a tomato and spinach tricolor pasta. Now, you can also substitute this with a penne pasta or any other kind of, um, you know, uh, pasta of your choice. Also, I included some fresh rosemary, ground sage, and some fresh thyme. So now this is done. And you know what, I think, our, I think our guests should be here. A good friend of mine uh, recommended the couple to me and they didn't know each other, which was of course great. And um, not only were they beautiful, but they seemed to have a, a kind of attraction toward each other. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. 